Hello and welcome to my figure review and profile of the G.I. Joe Classified series Wayne Beachhead Sneedon. Look here is number 10 in the range and he is also part of the special missions Cobra Island wave that was a target exclusive. Okay so if we have a look at the bit I like which is the artwork on the front and the side we see here we can see Beachhead's obviously storming some part of Cobra Island and on the side here we've also got him obvious oh could that be a terra dome behind possibly on cobra island if we look at the artwork on the back okay you will notice that it's slightly different than what we had before i'll just bring up uh, one from before whereas this just sort shows the core sort of first few figures released okay and if we bring up another cobra island figure which this is a roadblock we have a look here you can see there's different points of interest now does red mean attack so if that's roadblock he's obviously got to attack those two points beachhead may be attacking the radar dish here perhaps covert ops reconnaissance who knows right so again now if we have a look on this side we've got the icons now these are often very confusing of what they mean because there's nothing telling you so you have to go look online i'll help you out here with vanguard light weapons cover tops and that one there's weapon development now i'll cover all of these at the end of the video with the profile of a uh, beachhead this will be a classified profile okay so i think that's all that covered Right, with that, what I'm going to do next is we're going to kit up Beachhead with all the kit that he's got. Right, so let's have a look at what accessories he comes with. Okay, so first off, futuristic looking rifle. Okay. Next up, crossbow. I'll put that way. Next up is a knife. And last up is pistol. Now, I will say about these, I'm not too keen on the color scheme. Yes, it does match Beat Shed's outfit, but I would have preferred them to be black. The knife doesn't quite look right being all green. And then we've got his backpack. There we go. A close look at that there is a little hole in there the way you can put the crossbow and then his uh beret Let's see if that will focus there you go so if we have a look at beachhead this was one of my favorite figures in classified range yes i've said that about a few figures i had a lot of favorites beachhead i always liked if i pull up a comparison with the old beachhead from the uh, 88 range, I think it was. There we go. If we have a look. So, what I'd say, quite similar. Okay, they've kept a good look of the retro and at the same time have made him quite modern with the bits of armor on his legs. I like these. Some people say they don't, but I, 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 like, I like the look. I like the, the new classified range. I like the bits of futuristic on how they've updated them. We've had the old style before, and I've, I've mentioned in other videos, if you, you want the retro, do a, a retro range. So, as we see, similar, he hasn't got the colouring on his pants. These are just brown on here. You'll also notice that his uh, magazines are actually packed away on this vest, whereas on the one over there, they're actually sticking out, and his beret but we've got that separate this time instead. Okay, so if we have a look at the face sculpt, I'll put a picture up next, in case you can't see that very well. I think that's not a bad job, fairly basic, but I do like his mask with the different texture detail on it. Okay, right, so we'll get him kitted up now and see what he looks like with all his kit on. So we'll start off with his uh, beret. Put that on first. I like the look of this figure with the beret on. I think it's quite a good look. You can either have it on or have it off, but we'll have it on to start off with. See if we'll stand up. Not, oh yes, just about. Right, we'll put 
put the knife in again. Not too happy about that being green. Same with the side arm, just slots in at the side there. Okay, looking good. Equip his futuristic rifle. No idea what this would be called. See if we can slot his hands in there. Oh yes, he holds them nice so that the gun comes out. There we go, stand him up there. Pop this in the back here. That just fits in there. There we go, pop that on the back. And there we go, we have Beachhead. Okay, I'll pop up a comparison of the other figure with his kit on. We'll have a look. There you go. Like I say, good mixture of the two. So, overall rating on this one, I'll give an eight. Would have been higher, except for the colouring of the uh, weapons. I think they maybe should have been black. Or just not, not the same type of green. Okay. Right, and the next bit is going to be a bit boring. This is where we do the profile and a just quick rundown of what the icons mean on the side of the box. File name, Wayne R. Sneeden. Birthplace, Auburn, Alabama, United States. Height, 6 foot, 1.83 meters. Beachhead was a lane instructor at the Ranger School in Fort Benning and an observer advisor at the Covert Top School in Central America. He's meticulous, patient, and very strong-willed. He likes getting up at 0500 hours to take a 10-mile run and a PT session just before breakfast. He really enjoys squatting motionless beside a jungle trail for three days straight, waiting to ambush bad guys that might never show up. What he hates is people who are interested in doing their best. The first icon for Beachhead is the Vanguard icon, and this shows a level 3 elite proficiency rating when in this role. So characters with a Vanguard icon are on the front line of combat taking the fight to the enemy. The second icon for Beachhead is the light weapons icon, and this shows a level 3 elite proficiency rating when using this gear type. So characters with a light weapons icon use small handheld weapons. The third icon for Beachhead is the Covert Sop icon, and this shows a level 3 elite proficiency rating when using this skill. Characters with the Covert Ops icon are sent on secret missions. The fourth icon for Beachhead is the Weapons Development icon, and this shows a level 3 elite proficiency rating, and this is what Beachhead is best at. Characters with the Weapons Development icon test and manufacture weapons. And that concludes my video for today. Thank you for watching, please like if you enjoyed the video and until next time, goodbye.